Hey, this is Rick Renner, and this is the week when I said I would begin answering your questions, but Denise and I have been in meetings in Jerusalem, and we've been very busy. So today I'm going to start, and I want to answer a question which was given to me about the word superfluity in James chapter 1, verse 21. The whole verse says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Paul was talking to believers and when he said lay apart it literally means to take it off, to lay it down. It's the Greek word apotithomene which means to take something off as if you were going to take off a set of old clothes. But in this particular case he's really talking about wrong attitudes and wrong attitudes can keep you from receiving the Word of God. And he said, you've got to apotithomy, lay them aside. Literally take them off, lay them down, just like you would a set of dirty clothing. In fact, he calls lay apart all filthiness. That word filthiness is the same word used in James chapter 2, where it talks about a dirty man with dirty clothes. And now Paul is talking about our attitudes. And he says when our attitudes are wrong, they're stinky. In fact, they can be dirty all the way down to your underwear. This is calling for a total, total <clears throat> cleansing, a total removal of attitudes which will block you from receiving the Word of God. So I've got to ask you a question. How do you take off your clothes at the end of the day? Do you just stand in front of the mirror and say, mirror, mirror, on the wall? Please, I'm watching cause my clothes now to miraculously come off of my body. Of course not. The only way you're going to get your clothes off is if you use your fingers and you push the button through the buttonhole and it's one button at a button until finally you have completely removed your clothes. And in the same way when you repent of a wrong attitude you may not be able to change the whole thing all at once. But you've got to start one button at a time and say, God, with the help of the Holy Spirit today, I'm going to begin the process of taking off these dirty clothes. I've worn them too long. I've tolerated this too long in my life. Here I am, a child of God, walking around in these stinky attitudes that are totally unacceptable. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to begin the process of laying apart all filthiness, all these filthy attitudes. And then he talks about superfluity of naughtiness. Hmm, what in the world does that mean? Superfluity of naughtiness. I'm going to tell you, when that question was submitted, I thought, now there is a great question. That question is so great that that's what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. What is superfluity of naughtiness? But I think that for today, that's enough for you to think about. What in your life do you need to take off? What attitude do you need to lay aside? What practical steps do you need to take to repent, to begin pushing the button through the buttonhole? And I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's hard to get... Have you ever had a button smaller than the hole? You had to push so hard that you nearly broke the blood vessels under your fingernail? But it didn't matter. If you're going to get the clothes off, you've got to get the button through the buttonhole. And likewise, to lay aside all filthiness, wrong attitudes, you've got to make a decision. I don't care what the price is. I'm going to do what God requires of me to take off these wrong attitudes. And wrong attitudes really can block you from receiving what God has for your life. But I think probably that's a lot. And certainly, it's enough for you to think about today.